Dr. Seek and I go way back. Um, as we sat here waiting for the cameras to set up, we, just in case, let's figure out how many years it was. And what did we say, 32? 32. 32 years ago, we met when I um, was interested in ophthalmology. Um, Eric was already in a residency up in Denver, and I was doing a general medical officer year in the Army in Colorado Springs. So Fitzsimmons Army Medical Center in Denver was a natural place to um, apply and, and target doing my residency. So I started going up for their conferences and, and, and get-togethers, and that's where I first met the Dr. Seekers. So I came to Quincy in 1999 and really liked it. And I know uh, Dr. Weller was retiring from the military in 2001. Yeah. And so uh, I said, and he was looking at some great places on the coast and so on, East Coast, West Coast. And I said, well, at least come visit your old friend, at least get a free <laughs> meal out of it and a trip. So he came to, uh, to Quincy. I didn't want to insult my friend and, and <laughs> no, I'm really not interested. So it was kind of a practice interview, but it didn't take me long to, to change my mind. And I tell people right up uh, that I'm not from here. And, and so you can kind of, you know, if, you, if you're from a place, you kind of have a built-in bias. But, but my bias is, is uh, earned from the reputation and the quality. Yeah. This uh, September 11th attack uh, in 2001, um, was it a time when I was thinking, I think a lot of people were thinking of this idea of a peace dividend. We're no longer in a cold war. We don't have to spend trillions of dollars on defense and military and you know all kinds of our spheres of influence and proxy countries and proxy wars and all these things that we did for the previous 20 or 30 years and we're looking at a time when we could maybe be peaceful and prosperous for a long time to come and then September 11th happened and you know, that changed all that. We see the signs and the bumper stickers never forget and and I think it's it's so difficult uh, it, probably something that hasn't been mentioned that should be because it's critically important is is how the country came together after 9-11 unanimously there was no left right there were no different sides of the aisle everyone was in sync everyone was focused on this attack um, I'm sure not unlike what happened after Pearl Harbor and and there was great strength in that and and significant things were accomplished in terms of improving our our defense and, and our position in the world. And, and we've obviously slipped a, on the other side of that, that continuum, the polar opposite of everyone being together. Now it's very much left against right, uh, Democrats against Republicans, liberals versus conservatives, and there's weakness when we're divided. I remember it was a Tuesday morning just because that was my operating room morning uh, and I was doing cases and so I do a surgery and then uh, I walk out to the waiting room and I talk to the family and then I go back and I do another surgery. And, uh, and that morning as I walked out to the waiting room, the television was on and, uh, and so I remember coming out you know, roughly 8 o'clock, maybe 7.45 or so, and, uh, and a plane had crashed into the World Trade Center. And so I went back to the operating room, told everybody there that that had happened, uh, we did another case, came back out, now there was two planes crashed into the towers. I said, this is not an accident, this is not coincidence, this is something terrible. And I, I just remember the day, the whole day being very surreal. Just, what, it, it, it just, everything changed in an instant. I was actually, I had dropped off my car at a tire shop, a little place out on 12th Street. Somebody started talking about a plane that had crashed into the World Trade Center. And, no, that can't be, that's, that's gotta be wrong. And, and truly didn't believe it. And, and quickly it picked up my car and, and drove back to the clinic and, and got up to the fourth floor where we were at the time. And sure enough, it, another plane had crashed into the other building at that time. And, and um, there was so much confusion around the situation, what is going on. You didn't know what was coming next. Was there going to be an invasion? Was there going to be more bombs in, or more attacks in San Francisco, Los Angeles, all over? It just, it, it, Dr. Weller said he felt surreal. I, I felt like, is this the beginning of something even bigger, even worse? You know, let's say the 20 years before we, we felt tension, political, a geopolitical tension. There were two superpowers, USSR and, and United States and I guess as the power of the USSR kind of uh, slipped and I, I don't think it's a mistake or an accident that as at that time terrorist groups um, 
such as the, the groups led by Osama bin Laden, started to act out. Um, uh, but it, it um, was really, I think, the end of an age of innocence that uh, we've, we've now had to live with ever since. I think it is important that we try to do things like this, to try to encourage people that didn't live through it to understand it better, to help uh, the country not forget because it, um, and also not to forget what it was like to have a common purpose and to come together in the strength that, uh, that, that, uh, that created. I think that's very important.